Hello and welcome to yet another photo shoot video and in this photo shoot video we're in Bangkok This is one of the really old district in Bangkok, but it's also very artsy. It's called Doran Grung And we have our model with us here, Camilla. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video I was thinking we could start with this location. Okay. Um, just first, I like to kind of have the um, overall shot where you're kind of like in the middle over here, and I just wanted to have like kind of the contrast. Yeah. This is great. So this is kind of yeah your whole body, but like you're really small in the frame kind of shot. So for today's setup, I definitely have the 85 1.2 with me, but we're actually starting the shoot with the RF 15 to 35 millimeter f2.8 first, shooting at f2.8. This is because I really want a lot of the environment in the actual shot itself. So I'm shooting wide here just to capture the whole environment, the whole color, the contrast, the color and everything is just very popping. And with the added bonus of the gloomy weather, this is just really perfect in my opinion. And very soon into the shoot, you'll see that I will We'll replace the 15 to 35 uh, with a 28 to 70 f2 simply this because one? for the portrait shoot 28 is actually more than enough to actually get the environmental yes. shot as well into the portrait shot so i really love that and obviously there's the added bonus of having the f2 and a much sharper glass than the rf 15 to 35 so yeah Yes, this is nice. Could maybe we have um, some more, like kind of leaning against the wall? I'm only sitting around your knee level, so not your whole body. Yeah, this is great. Could you play with your glasses maybe? Yeah, that is nice. Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you want to see some of the results? The second location in this district is unfortunately kind of under renovation, well not really renovation, but there are people repainting the whole wall, changing the whole painting scheme on the wall. It's a nice area to take pictures of, but I feel like I might be actually distracting the students from painting the wall if we actually were to do a photo shoot here. So we're actually moving on to the third location. Now both this location and the next location that I'm taking you to might be familiar because we shot there before during a really harsh sunny day but because of the rainy season here in Thailand together with the different painting scheme different model different vibe in total it will actually be very different from the previous shoot so yeah and I just kind of want to play kind of with the sunlight hitting your face kind of so yeah that, that kind of you know there just maybe a little bit more yeah actually let me see if I'm better off that side or this side. Yeah, then we might actually have to go further down, if that's okay. If you want me to hold your bag, that's also fine. <laughs> In a lot of my photo shoot videos, sometimes the bags of the model would actually fall down my arm because I was actually holding them. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is great actually. The contrast. It was the same color. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Right. Three, two, one. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I actually like the pose when you actually play with your arms. 
here we are again at this location and I just think that this location has this really nice subtle blue to the walls and it's very rustic and it's just overall really nice and simple to photograph. And of course, with the added benefit of occasionally having that strong sunlight, I think we can get really, really nice contrasty shots here as well, together with a black outfit. Camilla, our model, also brought her really nice sunglasses with her, and I think it just really adds to the vibe and also the color tonality of this image. And I think that her overall outfit just works really nicely with today's weather, color composition, and pretty much the location that we're actually shooting in. So yeah, it's actually a really interesting shoot today <laughs> right. yes I like the floor yeah let me just get a bit closer with another lens because there's a guy behind you and I'm just trying to get rid of that Now that the sun is a bit stronger, come come back a little. Now that the sun is a bit stronger, then we have more of the contrast of the sun on your face. Yes, that is good. Yes. I'm only seeing about down until your waist area. Oh, karoka. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I was only laughing because there was an old lady who was looking at you from the back. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, this is great. I love this. Okay. I think we have... Here's a school. It's open. Is this school? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Another school. Or is it the diving school? This is the uh, diving school. It's so cool. Right? Oh my God, it's so rewarding. <laughs> yeah. So for this location, it's actually a diving school. And yes, last time we also tried to get inside, but it was closed. But this time we actually managed to come on the right day. But if you do manage to come to this diving school, make sure you actually order some drinks simply because, you know, it's not just a walkthrough kind of location um, by maybe buying a cup of tea, you know, coffee or what have you and just enjoy the atmosphere. Yeah, this building is hundreds of years old. So this diving school was actually built way back in the 19th century and you can see from the flooring, the architecture, pretty much all of the material that was used that this was never really um, renovated. It was just, you know, maintained ever since, but um, there were a lot of cracks, the ceilings were still very short. And if you do come here, do be careful about the height and everything. And sometimes you might feel a bit scared that the wood might break because of how soft they really feel after you step on them. Well, I might be just too heavy that they start bending, but in the same time, with all the old wood, all the old architecture, all the old furnitures, it does give a very nice, authentic, rustic and vintage kind of vibe to the image as well. So if that's what you're looking for, I also highly recommend you come to this location when you're in Bangkok. So yeah. No, 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 the, the post that you were doing before? Yes, I just want to get a bit closer. This is great. This is great. Yes. Yes, that's actually really nice. Loving the contrast and the pose.
actually could you um do the uh, hair again like that the post of the hair yeah just just kind of do it but like kind of on your ear behind your hair yes yeah that's good yes I think it would look nice if you maybe sit on that chair. Can you do like poses that you're looking outside? Just... Yeah. Right. Yes. This is great. Let me just change lines. I'm going a little bit tighter now. Oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> Keep that pose. Just, just. Um, just uh, could you do the pose with the uh, the shin again, where you're, um, kind of, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I was thinking around here, but there is so many signs. Maybe kind of be in the center. Yeah, I wouldn't really accept that chair. So, just to kind of change right. the vibe, we decided to actually change the dress to yeah. the white dress. And to be honest, it's actually the same style dress as the black dress, just this time it's a white color just to you know give a different emotion different mood different vibe to the final image yet still remaining pretty minimalistic and also kind of suiting to the environment and sometimes when camilla would move a little bit from side to side the dress creates this really nice flowy kind of pattern or the dress just becomes a little bit wavy at the bottom and it just looks really nice like there's a natural wind flowing to the dress and it just creates this really nice subtle emotion and feeling to the final results just like a little touch of emotion or feeling to it giving it a little bit of like a summer vibe to it so yeah oh yeah that's nice let me just switch to the toilet I kind of like the pose with the arms kind of uh, raising on the door. So nice. yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, that's 
Okay. Ooh. I think we have it for this door. <laughs> the abandoned car. <laughs> well yeah, yeah it does. I'm just gonna start with like a full body shot. I think if you don't mind maybe just maybe lean into the car a little bit. <laughs> well, would it be okay for you or yeah, it's fine. Yeah it's pretty cool. That's really nice. So now I'm actually using the tree and the leaves to kind of add to my foreground and because I'm using the f1.2 this means that those leaves and branches are only adding to the color into the image rather than you know having a solid leaf in there so it's not as distracting so yeah it's always nice to try out different foreground elements and also play a little bit with the distancing between the foreground element and your subject simply because it will just add dimensions and layer to the image thus adding you know a little bit more interest or field of interest to the yeah. image itself and I have to be very honest here that I was feeling quite shy and kind of embarrassed shooting here simply because there were a lot of people behind the set waiting to actually shoot it's actually one whole huge Can group really of Spanish tourists so yeah but I'm glad Camilla yeah. actually was really confident and comfortable shooting at the location and she was oh, very yeah. professional it's just yeah I didn't really want to be in other people's way but at least we got some really nice images at the end of the shoot Now we're actually on the way to kind of the other side of the same district. It's a very nice cafe slash bakery and a lot of photographers do come here to take pictures and if you go inside you also have to pay and you know eat there and everything but for now we are only looking for a rustic kind of atmosphere so we're only going to be outside using their walls and the door in front of the cafe well it's actually also a hotel inside but most people know this location for its cafe and the design of the exterior because this is one of the old towns here in Bangkok this is actually kind of genuine it's not built to replicate you know european slash asian kind of architecture mixed together um, it's actually very very old so this was still back in the influence of a little bit of western influence into southeast asia kind of culture and for this location despite having some clouds in the sky um, it was thin enough that the sun was a little bit more harsh which worked to our advantage because 
Camilla had a really nice white dress on and I just think it worked really nicely with this soft sunlight but not too soft onto the actual background of the uh, model as well as onto the dress and just pretty much making the whole image kind of glow a little bit and yeah I just really love the color composition the simplicity and the minimalism here it's just really nice overall oh yes I, I really like that the wind is also really nice over here Let me just show you some. Thank the thing is, like, it's a cafe. It's a very nice cafe. Yeah. But in order to... Like, you can't really go inside unless you order something. Because when they first opened, a lot of photographers flopped here, like hundreds of photographers. And they weren't really making any money because photographers just go inside to take pictures and then come out. So, yeah. Yes, that's really nice. Yeah. Give me some of the flowy. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, that's really nice. Yes. A bit closer. Closer. Yes, that's really nice. Yes, I love that. I love that. Yes. Oh, that's very fashion. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you can actually enjoy a little bit more from this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to just leave it down in the comment section below. If you need a free photography guidebook, it's absolutely for free on my website. Just click the link in the description section and download. And you don't need to submit your email address, nothing. Just click and download. I will not bombard you with any newspaper nonsense. And yeah, thank you very much again for watching. I hope you can really gain something from this photo shoot video and stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now. Now.